welcome back in this lesson we will compare streamlit app with our flask and django we will compare our streamlit with flask and django with skills visualization support machine learning models and flexibility let's look into all these things when coming to the skills the skills required for the flask django and streamlit is obviously the python we should know the python language to create the application in flask django and streamlit but what I can say here is that in Streamlit app, we don't require the advanced Python programming like multi-threading, object-oriented language, etc. That is not required in the Streamlit. We require the knowledge on HTML for Flask and Django. Whereas for Streamlit, it is not required to learn HTML. Similarly, for styling our front-end web app, we require the knowledge on CSS for Flask and Django. But whereas Streamlit, we don't require that. And similarly, we require the knowledge on JavaScript depends upon the application for Flask and Django. Whereas in Streamlit, we don't require any knowledge on JavaScript. Only the Python language is only enough to build the application in Streamlit. Coming to the flexibility, it is very easy to learn the Streamlit compared to the Django and Flask. Whereas Django is most difficult compared to the Flask and Streamlit. And simplicity point of view, Django is most complex and Streamlit is very simple. Flexibility, we have the high flexibility in Django and Flask, whereas we have very, very less flexibility in Streamlit. And scalability, we can scale our application in all three frameworks. And we can easily customize our application in Django and Flask, whereas in Streamlit, it is difficult to customize. Sometimes we cannot customize our application. And deployment point of view, it is incredibly very fast to deploy our application in Streamlit, whereas the complexity and the time taken to deploy in the Django and Flask is totally depends upon the application. Let's look into the visualization support by all three frameworks. First one is we can easily create the dashboards in Streamlit, whereas in Django and Flask, it is a bit difficult. Streamlit's database supports the most useful library for building the visualization in Python, that is Matplotlib and Seaborn. Whereas in Flask and Django, it won't directly support the Matplotlib in Seaborn, but what we have to do is that we need to save our figure and that figure we need to display to our web app. And coming to the interactive visualizations like Plotly and Bokeh, Streamlit actually supports the Plotly and Bokeh. Not only that, it also supports Altair, Pydeck, Graphis, etc. But whereas in order to plot in the Django or Flask application, it is very complicated. Now let's look into the support of the machine learning and deep learning models. All Flask, Django and Streamlit supports both machine learning and deep learning models. And overall, what I can say is the Streamlit is one of the most user friendly, particularly for the data scientists who want to create a quick application and analysis, modeling and reporting in minutes. And that is what one of the best thing what you can have as a data scientist. In the next lesson, we will see more on Streamlit. Until then, happy learning.